Thanks, Cameron. It's our big story live at five, a building in Sturgeon Bay housing four businesses nearly destroyed by fire. This is what's left today after the blaze tore through the building around midnight. Now the business owners are left to pick up the pieces and move on. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live in the newsroom with more. Raquel? Megan, the fire marshal's been inspecting the building all day, trying to figure out what caused this blaze. But for those who had a business inside Harbor Place shops, nothing but sadness as they look at what's left of their livelihood. As neighbors take their usual walk down Madison Avenue in Sturgeon Bay, they're stopping to look at what's left of one of their favorite shops. It's been kind of a nasty surprise. George Bo Denner rents space in the building to Faith Alive Fellowship Church. I'm shocked, yes. There's a lot of damage here. The Sturgeon Bay Fire Department calling in the state fire marshal to pinpoint what started the blaze. Uh, we're doing the investigations, uh, talking with business owners, um, passerbys and things like that. William Lemke owns the Steel Bridge Cafe, which suffered heavy smoke and water damage. So I'm upset. You know, my insurance will cover something, but it's not going to cover a fraction of what I lost. He was stocked up for the biggest week of the year. Now, freezers full of food for the 4th of July going to waste, but he's staying hopeful. But I would like to look for a new location. You know, I still have some years left to give my service to the community with the restaurant. And that hope, the key to picking up the pieces and rebuilding. The fire department says no one was inside the building when the fire broke out and no injuries have been reported. The four businesses inside that building, nearly a total loss. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.